Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Well, we can lie um, via about three ways. These are the most common ways to lie. Uh, one, you just make up shit. Second one, uh, you lie by omission. You know, just... Uh, and the other one is just you pick and choose, which is related to uh, the lie by omission. You just pick and choose what you want, and then you just, uh, you know, put together a narrative and you say, well, this is the based on if the information, which, as I said, is related to the second one because you omit certain things, which uh, in this case would change the narrative. Now, in, uh, in mass media, uh, they have uh, this, um, and not only in mass media, we in general, or at least people who lie uh, all the time, you find them uh, lying, you catch them because they're inconsistent. So when someone is inconsistent in his or her statements, uh, you start asking questions or is going to tell you a, a story and after some time the liar forgets what he told you or she told you and then is going to tell you a different story. But if you remember what you've been told, because that was the only time, he doesn't remember. Probably he lies to many people, to too many people, so he doesn't know what he told you. So therefore you're going to catch, uh, catch them lying. Now, what's going on here in, um, in this war in Ukraine? You obviously have a lot of um, media outlets that uh, you know, promote certain kind of interests. Obviously, that's a war. Propaganda is left and right, up and down, and so on. So, as I said many times, these guys do not remember what they said or they don't know what the other guy said from his side. So, he's going to say something about the subject that he doesn't have an intention of revealing the truth that was not revealed when the issue was actually discussed in detail at another article. So let's say we're going to discuss something about glasses, uh, eyeglasses. Well, I'm not going to discuss about this, 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 but I'm not going to tell you the price. Let's say this is about $50,000. I'm going to tell you everything and say, well, good, go and buy it, go and buy it, yeah, great product. But then you say, wait a minute, cost benefit is a piece of glass, you know, whatever, and it's $50,000 thanks but no thanks but they didn't mention that but you find out it's fifty thousand dollars by another guy who's going to talk about i don't know production in general and he's going to give you an example yeah like for instance you know those glasses uh gg gg ggt uh, glasses uh there are fifty thousand dollars and like say what <laughs> okay so they he didn't uh intentionally screw up the other guys he didn't know he didn't know that these guys were saying that thing so what's going on here uh, I have an article here that really uh, we're going to have the Polish uh, deputy prime minister. So he's a very important person in the Polish uh, political hierarchy. And he's going to say something that I think he just punched himself in the balls after he said it. But hey, let's see what he said. So this article obviously comes from Russia today, which tries to exploit each and every, you know, Freudian slip of the tongue. And says, I'm quoting here, Half of Europe wants better ties with Russia, Polish Deputy Prime Minister says. Obviously, Russia celebrates that, says, see, see, see. Well, we know a lot of countries in Europe just do it because they get smacked by uh, the big boss. So, Piotr Glinski, so Peter Glinski criticized those who desire a quick end to the Ukrainian conflict and better relations with Moscow. So, uh, he, he criticized those who want quickly, you know, and want better relations with Moscow. But by saying that, he's probably going to say this, <laughs> you know, not realizing that he's actually falling in his own propaganda. Polish Deputy Prime Minister Piotr Glinski has lamented the fact that there is still a, and I'm quoting, threat that relations between Russia and European Union countries could return to the way they were before the current rift. He blasted opposition parties in Poland as well as, and I'm quoting, half of Europe, end quote, for harboring hopes of improving ties with Moscow. Speaking to the Courier Lubelski, Lubelski news outlet, Glinski was asked if he believed that Warsaw was, and I'm quoting, in danger of returning to naive politics when, for example, Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov was invited to meet with Polish ambassador in Warsaw in 2010 in an effort to improve bilateral relations. And this is what Glinsky said. 
Unfortunately, the threat of a return to these relationships still exists. <laughs> so that means he calls those guys tards. Glinsky claimed that the government, governments, and I'm quoting, political rivals, end quote, as well as their voters are, and I'm quoting, hostage to interest groups that only think about ending the war in Ukraine as soon as possible and continue to be a client of Russia and do business with it. End quote. Adding that, and I'm quoting this guy, half of Europe is like that, waiting for it. <laughs> yeah, and you're a prime minister, deputy prime minister, right? Good job, Mr. Uh, Piotr Glinski. You're a good guy. Not. So I'm, I'm reading again, right? So there are some groups and voters who are just hostage, intellectually, I'm, I'm guessing, to interest groups that only think about ending the war in Ukraine as soon as possible and continue to be client of Russia and do business with it. Is that illegal? I guess so. Adding that, and I'm going, half of Europe is like that, waiting for it. <laughs> Lamented. The Deputy Prime Minister comments came as Polish Secretary of State Marcin... Oh my God. Uh, I was, I'm sorry, also told the Financial Times on Tuesday that Warsaw plans to demand World War II reparations from Russia, just as it has done from Germany, from which it is requesting some 1.3 trillion euros, which is 1.43 trillion dollar. Dollar! And I'm quoting, we treat Berlin and Moscow in different civilization way. In a different civilization way? Wow. Prezhichin told the outlet, noting that once there is, and I'm quoting, success in squeezing cash. This is according to, <laughs> to Russia today. Squeezing cash. <laughs> I like God. Out of Germany. The next step would be to, and I'm counting, I'm uh, counting, yes. Um, <laughs> I'm quoting, launch such a discussion with the other oppressor. Oh my God. So the Russians, the Germans were oppressors and the other guys are oppressors. Okay, well, how will you say? But hey, why do you go to Russia? Why don't you go to Ukraine too? Since Ukraine was part of the Soviet Union. You gotta demand Ukraine to give you some shit. But hey, history is not one of their uh, strong points or, uh, you know, justice and objectivity. I mean, don't ask from Russia, ask from Soviet Union. And, uh, you know, no, 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 Russia is the heir of the Soviet Union. Yeah, but uh, the crimes committed by the Soviet Red Army was not only Russians in there, there were many guys. So why don't you go straight to uh, whomever did what? No, 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 we can't do that. It's politically incorrect. So that means you are not just. Do not, do not do that. Brussels, meanwhile, has accused Poland of sliding towards authoritarianism under, under its current leadership, while Jana Puglieri, the head of the Berlin office of the European Council of Foreign Relations, suggested that the right-wing PIS party is prioritizing electoral success rather than focusing on establishing cons constructive relationship. Moscow has responded to the recent comments from Warsaw by stating that, and I'm quoting, nothing good can be expected in Russian-Polish -Pol relationship relations in the near future. Kremlin spokesman, spokesperson, Jesus Christ, you Russians are getting done too. Uh, Dmitry Peskov noted on Tuesday that Russophobia, which has gripped the minds of Polish authorities, and I'm quoting, absolutely deprives them of sobriety, sobriety in their approach to everything related to Russia, end quote, and prevents them from taking, and I'm quoting, intelligible or thoughtful steps. Well, I have no, uh, I have no doubt, no, no doubt that there are many countries in Europe that really did not want uh, to uh, uh, go along with um, um, the sanctions and all this imposed because they hurt themselves and they know who's who was what. They know that the whole thing is between those and those and these guys are here where they met. This guy want to meet these guys and that happened. And then, hey, you gotta come over. Okay, Red Rover. 
what's in it for us and it doesn't matter what's in it for you it matters what's in it for me and i smack you around i have troops here politically i dominate you your foreign policy is dictated by me you can't do anything on your own just see macron the only one who tried to do something and when they said something immediately brussels and other weasels score points oh macron is an idiot oh macron is this oh macron is this macron has problems with the pension reform and all that this is mass democracy all right that's the way it is it's a uh, popularity contest popularity contest not on abilities but in abilities of painting someone else bad and hiding your bs and overstating your quality that might that you might have or might not have it doesn't matter as long as they don't realize and you get elected and when you get elected you get five years six years four years of doing what the ever you want legally which means if i want to give another country i don't know a few billions i do it and i say this is national security and i'm gonna i'm gonna give it and what are you gonna do nothing you elected me four years wait and work within the system a vote again next time for another guy exactly like me exactly like me sponsored by uh the voters and uh, i was gonna listen to the voters uh well if you didn't figure this out so far and you still believe in uh, the will of the people, by the people, for the people, to the people, never people, then give me $20,000 today. I will give it to you tomorrow with 3,000% interest. I'm going to meet you wherever you say. I'm going to bring you tomorrow the money. Promise. And I can also swear. Okay. Believe me. And you're going to say, oh, okay. Yeah, well, yeah. He seems to be a... Uh, nice guy <laughs> don't do that man don't do that thank you very much for being with me again today stay strong stay smart look for the truth and be just